this was just so good. I couldn't not record it. Being aware of where you are, what you're feeling, what emotions and attitudes that you're experiencing, being aware of the thoughts. Oh man, that's enlightenment. And you are on the path to really, to really stepping into greatness. Okay. Uh, but being aware of where you feel like you're weak, maybe right now at recruiting, like where are you recruiting right now? Are you a four or five, you know, distributors recruiting is distributors, right? Like I'm going to at Wills enroll a distributor this month, week, day. If you're at a four or five, or if you're at five, or if you're at a six, seven, right? Um, being aware of that is not a weakness. So the fact that you're aware is critical, okay? Because if you're not aware, uh, you're, you're not going to address it. You're going to be, you're not going to know what you don't know. And then you're just going to be lost, right? So your number, uh, that whatever it is, four, five, 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 six, um, that's probably, that's, that's not probably, especially in, I can sell and recruit your, your focus, your goal should be, how do I get that number to blank? And so here's what I want to ask you in, by the end of this class, at the very latest, okay? But give ourselves some grace. It's a journey, right? At the end of this class, I can sell and recruit. Where do you want that number to be? And I, again, I want you to, I want you to take a, a small deep breath and I kind of want you to get intuitive here. Deep breath, let's do it to six. One, two, three, four, inhaling, five, six. Hold it there. Release relax, allow. I want you to listen to the deep, deep, deep subconscious about where you really believe you could be at the end of the class. I'm not looking necessarily for the, for the conscious. I'm not looking for Tawanda, who's going to say, I'm a 12, I'm a 12, yes, I can do it. I'm looking for that deep subconscious, which by the way is in you. It's, it's totally there. And I want to know where that deep subconscious says that it feels comfortable in letting you, in, 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 uh, in expanding to by the end of this class where, you know, we're on lesson three. All right, Lily Ann, you're sitting at an eight. That's awesome. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tell you where I feel like I feel nine, 10. That's where I feel I can get. Uh, Cause I wanted to double my recruiting and remind again, awareness is not weakness. Awareness helps you identify where you may be weak. Okay. Um, and comparison, the only person you're comparing yourself with is you, all right? You are not, you are not in a race against anybody else, okay? Awesome, Beverly, I love that. 910, I'll be a super recruiter. Um, now I'm going to throw one crazy idea out at you. <laughs> you're going to be at an eight, Lillianne. And a year later, you're going to be at an eight on a totally different level. In other words, like some people probably like, like I'm my seven might be somebody else's nine or 10. Does that make sense? You're, you're not my, my nine, 10, this in, in 10 weeks will be much smaller than my nine, 10 a year from now. Yeah. It, it's, it doesn't work linearly, right? This, this is, has to do with, with harnessing human potential, which you just can't measure. It's super simple. Okay. So awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, Beverly, I echo with you. I will be a super recruiter. I will be that. So awesome. Thanks for that little session. Those are some thoughts on my mind. Um, anybody, uh, any of you other ladies before we, uh, before we close out this jam session, anything else you wanted to share? Yes, I have a, um, we're trying to decide for the vision summit um i'm looking for a calendar so the the tickets for march are like horribly expensive uh -huh. um and so we want to go and stay a few days and go to the parks because if we're traveling it's kind of silly not to do that yeah might as well have so, fun right? that's right 
Um, so are you sure? Because I don't know with Easter and all that. I don't know where Easter falls. Is Because the other thing, April, then the tickets were like half. And yeah. then the weather is also going to be better because it's still really cold in March, right? I'm yeah. not a cold person. Yeah. Look, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> inside the house <laughs> um so are you sure it's going to be the eighth and ninth like we start looking for tickets and booking them now i have a i have a call tomorrow with vision summit uh, okay so can uh, you let us know because that would be the second week because patty told me it was always the second weekend it, it is until there's a problem like there was in january and the company scheduled their event on our second week because they didn't count the first week and they usually do the third week so or something like that. So yes, um, it is the second week. I will confirm that um, on on uh, on Wednesday. Okay. Because as it is, I mean, I found some decent tickets for March, but then instead of staying after, we would have to go earlier. We would have to go like on a Tuesday and come back on a Saturday because the Tuesday they have days of the week where it's way cheaper. Yep. Yeah. And of course, the weekend is always more. Yes, yes. Okay, so we yeah. want to know what Steve told you. <laughs> oh, so here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. I had a 1030 with them this morning, you know, and they, and they meet with all of the pro tens individually. It's really nice. You know, every quarter, I know we're going to have a jam session and I'm going to tell them what is going really well. I'm going to tell them what is not going really well. And, um, and so they had somebody else booked before me, right? And I don't know who it was. It's probably better that I don't know who it was. No. Uh, but they texted me like five minutes after said, we're almost done. And then they texted me 10 minutes after said, we want a full session with you. Can we reschedule since uh, we're still on this current meeting, this current person? So, so I ended up not meeting today. That's why I came back on the power hour because I was supposed to have about a half an hour jam session with, with Steve. So so I have, so my, so my question is, so what I've decided is, cause I don't have any problem recruiting customers. I mean, only problem selling. I could do more. I could do more. <laughs> selling, you mean, but, you mean selling product? Yes. So taking people through that process, I don't have any issues. So I, I, I want to, you know, do a total pivot and just like tell my brain, like, well, if you can do this, you can also do that. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Yes. So, yeah. So I think it's just like a, like a switch. And I was telling, um, I was sharing the other day. So of course I always go to the dogs, but something happened to me where when the dogs, when you compete, you compete for a championship. And then in the venue that I compete, you need X, X number. So they have like seven different games that you have to play and you have to complete. So for one game, you need 10. And then for the others, you need five, 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 five. So with one of my dogs, I had like over like seven, eight, nine, whatever of the other games. And then the game that I needed 10, I had two. And mm. for a year, a whole year, like if you make one mistake, you're done. Like you won't qualify. So for a whole year, I looked at all my things. And I'm like, oh, damn it. Like for a whole year, I've been making one silly mistake, which is usually me, not the dog. And we don't qualify. So I'm at a seminar with a good friend. And I tell her like, oh my God, like Holly has like extra all the games and I need eight standard runs to get our championship. And she said, oh, you can do that in a good weekend because in a weekend there's four opportunities to get those standard runs. Guess what? Two weekends in a row, four, four. And I was like, like, I can't believe this. Like I've struggled for a year and she said this and it was like, my brain was like, oh yeah, she's right. So, so, so I want to experience the same thing here with this business. And I'm like, damn it. Like, why is it not happening? Because I want to have that because it, it, it has to happen in here. It's in here. Yes. And I, I feel like there's this magic something that can finally get my brain to go like, yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. That's, that's a powerful insight. There's awareness, right? So, so we're aware, right? You're aware of this I say friction, but this need. So 
my question is, like, how do you feel about your efforts? I, I'm talking only recruiting, not selling. How do you feel about your efforts regarding recruiting? Well, one of the things that I hear over and over in my head is that when you present this to someone, you need to do both. You need to say there's a business and there's products and you pick whatever. And lately I've been proud of myself that the last three people that I have invited and two of them have actually gone through the ITT, the complete thing. They haven't enrolled, but they've gone through the whole thing. Um, I right off the bat said, there is a business with this and I think this could help you because of X, Y, Z. So I'm like patting myself like, yeah, good girl. <laughs> That's fabulous. Because yeah, so that, that I find is a big shift. And I'm like, you have to tell people right off the bat, there's also a business with this. I uh, honestly, I think that that's going to be a big thing. You, number one is your mindset. There's obviously you, is, do you feel like you've made a mindset shift regarding that in order to step in and change that action? Yes. And the thing is that I'm not allowing myself, like I listen to the neuro tools like all day. Like today I went to the post office. It was neuro tools all the way, neuro tools all the way back. And sometimes you get lost in your train of thought, like doing whatever, but I'm always thinking like, it's just, you know, it, it's just going to flood my brain until, <laughs> and then I, every morning I wash the rice, you know, I get up, I brush my teeth, I get back in bed, I put my headphones and I'm like, you're listening to, it's become like part of the routine, just like brushing my teeth. And so, and I'm constantly reminding me like, you know, this is easy. This is in flow. You don't have to struggle. You, so I find myself like every time that the little doubt creeps in, you go like, no. So this month, so one of the things that happened is I, I really want to qualify for the trip. So I have my vision board. I have it on the car. I do my tapping, the declaration, all that. And then I was doing really, really well. And then this month has been like a bummer because last month I was like, I want to end up like at a hundred points. And I ended up like at 98, but they all happened like at the last five days. Mm -hmm. And this month I'm like, oh, you know, I feel this like, oh, like I have like two points this month. And I, and I, cause I had set a goal. I said, okay, you're going to be at 125 on January. Uh -huh. And so when, so that doesn't happen. And then I'm like, ah. and I have, you know, two, three people actually that are looking at the business opportunity and they're just dragging their feet. And one of the things that I feel is like, well, if you have to drag people into the business and you're going to have to drag them into doing the business and, drag, and, that, and I don't want that. I want someone that goes like, boom, let's go to work. Yeah. So um, what you have to realize is, I mean, you, by the way, you have how many points? I think I have 98. That's fabulous. You, you, you're in striking distance. You're absolutely, totally in striking distance. We got five months, five full months beyond January, right? January's not even over. I haven't calculated, you know, best month and, you know, being minimum month and, um, you know, second orders. I mean, you get triple points this month for everybody who enrolled last month, right? If they're on a second month order. So that's one area that I would look at, by the way, is anybody who you, anybody who came in new last month, customers or distributors personally, Make sure that that you you know if they're on order in January, then you it's triple the triple the second month order points, right? Oh, I did not know that. Yes, so you want to go back and look at. See, I, I felt so bad. I was in the company last week, and I was so excited because I'd enrolled seven people this month, right? But five customers, and, pardon me, two customers and five distributors. And I thought it was enrolling this month, and it was triple points next month. And they said, "No, Seth, that's why we told you in December." It was rock December with your enrollment because it's triple points for their second month order in January. And I went, oh, yeah, I oh, missed that. Oh, that's too. good because my December was good. Yes. So you want to look at every single one of those new people from December and see where is their order and then go look at the points. And, you know, but that's, that's triple this month, right? So you're, you're rocking there. Um, one thing that I, that I, 
I don't sense super strong, but I, I did sense a little, Lillianne, and that was, um, what did what did you say? Uh, drag. So like, like there was an, an immediate, I mean, like energy, like, like I've got these people. I have these people who are about ready to sign up, but they're dragging, and I don't want. I don't want to bring dragging people in. So I'm wondering if there's some, there's some sort of emotional attachment, emotion, attitude, which is tied to a core belief, right? And, and we have to be really mindful of what comes into our garden, the garden of our mind, you know, the, uh, the landscape of our mind, because, yeah, I mean, if I'm to look at most of the people I've enrolled, are they you know, do they crank the business? No. And if that's the expectation, if the expectation is that I somehow, my future somehow, and my confidence is somehow connected to the choices other people make, right? And, and maybe I wasn't the best sponsor. I don't know everything, you know, I didn't know everything then that I know now, right? But so I'm responsible somehow for them deciding, no, no, no. We have to give them 100% responsibility because if somebody really wanted it, then guess what? They would figure it out, do it, grow, stick around. That's called you. Look in the mirror. You're that person. You are the, I'm going to do it. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to grow. You know, right? Um, so, but there's some energy there like, oh, you know what? I don't want, well, I want, and I am attracting are you looking for the toilet? He already took it out. Uh, vibrant women. Like this awesome. comes from, this comes down to flow in your avatar board, right? Um, stars in the sky for business builders. Stars in the sky for business builders. Stars in the sky for business builders. Not stars in the sky for customers, not stars in the sky general. Stars in the sky for business builders. There are three neuro tools there. Um, so that's just that that's a thought. You're 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 cognitively, you know, strategically doing some great things, changing people. I mean, like I will say, when I made that shift, I mean, I've always pretty much been this way, and I always bring in more distributors than I do customers. That's I mean, I'm I mean, or my balance, you know, I'm not at an 80, 20, you know, I'm at a 60, 40 or, a, or literally maybe a 50, 50, but you know, I'm looking at this, this document and I'm tracking like a banshee, this ITT. Um, that's where 90% of the strategy issue is with most people. If they're not doing what you're doing, Hey, I've got three steps for you. Right. And let them make their choice. But but I think there's also probably some belief about the business, Lillian. I think there's something about the belief in, you know, your ability to recruit, um, what people are going to do, what people are looking for. Again, are people looking for products out there? Yeah, absolutely. No. Are, are people looking for business answers right now? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's easier. For people to buy products than it is to start a business just like it's easier for people to buy an ice cream cone than buy an ice cream business because of their immediate need and what they're willing to put in at the same point if your business is is built and predicated upon you selling ice cream franchises then 90 percent of your effort probably ought to be in in manifesting mindset and strategy to make it easy to identify those people and you will sell a lot of ice cream cones, right? But um, so I, I think there's something there, but there's something about that. I don't want the stuck people. I also want to challenge the idea that people who aren't enrolling today are dragging. Um, how do we know that they're dragging, not dragging? A um, couple of things strategically. Well, let me go mindset wise. Does somebody not joining today mean they're dragging? It just means they're not in flow. And there's a difference. Um, I Somebody who's going to do this business will sign up when they are ready. I've got a CEO that I'm working with and I've been working with him literally. He, I've been working with him for four years. He's a referral, friend of a friend. 
Um, and it wasn't on, but I've kept on, I've kept on him, right? I've kept with it. And <coughs> then I brought this back to him at the end of last year when I was re when I'm relaunching and, and I've got him close. And I mean, but he's just not there. Is he dragging? That I'm not dragging. So I'm not going to adopt. I'm not going to, I'm not going to overlay. I'm not going to receive any of that energy real or fabricated right real or real or imagined the reality is he's he hasn't been ready to sign up he's on my call list today because he wants to meet this week and i'm going to identify where he is and i'm in ease and flow and i'm going to find out if he's a good candidate right and we can work together and i'm going to bring that energy yes dr if i have to drag them into the business then there's a likelihood that i'm going to have to drag them through the business in order in order to move but them not deciding to run yet does not why why is that dragging right um and if somebody's dragging then i'm just going to be you know if they are if they have a dragging energy i'm going to say hey here's the deal mike if, if i just can we can we talk straight yeah i kind of this might be imagined and if it is please tell me but i'm wondering if this just the energy doesn't flow for you here right now Right, like, like, like you're dragging around this opportunity, um, and I don't know why. You know, maybe it's because it's bad timing for you. Maybe it's because you just want to tell me no, and you don't know how to. And and so I just want I want I just want to have a real safe conversation. Where is your energy on this, and what are your thoughts? You know, here's what I'm going to do. I am absolutely committed. Twenty four months. Right, or. I'm absolutely committed in the next two years to create a million dollar business. And I can only do that by partnering with some, with some friends who want the same thing. And I'm looking for 10 friends who wanna go build a million dollar business and who are willing to commit to that business for the next two years. Does that jive with you? Is that in alignment with you? We, there's no mention of drag. And, and if he is burdened, if he is dragging, then guess what? He's, he, can, he can let you know. So that's kind of my recommendation. Take a listen to that neuro tool. Take a look, look at your energy. But, and, and, and I am focusing on two people. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm attracting. I'm wanting to know. I want to do this with you, but you got to give me a two-year commitment. You're saying you don't drag with me. No, no, there's no dragging. You're positively manifesting that. So I'm going to stop the recording. Is that helpful?